A couple of weeks ago, I made a video where I reacted to Andrew Tate. And you know, that video got a lot of views. So I'ma do it again. I wake up every day excited. I'll go do this today. I'll go do this today. I'll go do this today. And I very much live my life in a frame of, not a, I have to do this. It's very much a I get to do this. There's another thing that a lot of people make a mistake with when I talk to them like, ah, oh, I have to go to work today. Change your language. I get to go to work today. Imagine you had no job. Be worse, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't be working. So you get to go to work. Oh, I have to fix the car. At least you have a car. You get to fix your car. Most people don't got one. Oh, I have to go get the kids. You get to go get the kids because you have these beautiful children who love you. You understand? People's even their own language is wrong. Okay, here's the thing. I'm not going to lie. The man's spitting facts right there. He literally is. The kind of people who are really genuinely upset by what I say are the kind of people who can't truly learn anything and become successful in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I obviously know what I'm talking about to some degree, right? So if, if, if Mike Tyson walks in here and tells you he's going to teach you how to box and says, you can't fight, you're a pussy. If that upsets you, then you can't learn, right? It's Mike Tyson. Just shut up and listen. Yeah. If, if, if someone Richard me comes along and says, Andrew, you don't know a brokey. I'm going to sit there and go, okay, maybe I'm a brokey, Elon. I mean, like, that's also kind of true. Are you the only one who's not wearing a shirt right now? Do you know why I don't wear a shirt? I don't know why. I'll tell you why. One, it's not just because I'm, I'm built like Hercules. It's not actually why. Right. It's because this podcast studio used to be a bedroom, but the air conditioning uh, is loud. So it ruins the podcast. Okay. okay. Wow. I mean, if 12 tigers attack me and I manage to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido and the last tiger gets my neck, that's a, that's a fine way for Tate to die. You know, you're cheating. It's bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. How out of context is that clip? Like, how out of context is that clip? Imagine one day you're sitting in Paris and having coffee and terrorists roll through with AKs. And the person next to you has their brains blown out. You're gonna stand there and be like, waiting to die. Like, I'm gonna be like, bang, oh, I've seen that before. Okay, boom, boom, duck and dive in, take one terrorist out. Next, get the AK, go Rambo, take out all the stand with the G. Would you really though? Like, would you actually do that? I mean, I don't think the guy can do this. I really doubt that he can. Ever been that the modern society we live in has been built by men. Let's cut the crap. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built. All of it. When women come along and say, oh, we're, we're just as important. You are just as important, but you do had a completely different role. You fulfilled a different role in society. And I think now, if you look at the roles of society, I believe men are still doing Okay, I don't understand this. Why is it like a clip of Andrew Tate and then like some like random guy playing? Like, wh wh why do we need that clip down below? Like, we don't need that. Just upload like the clip of Andrew Tate. <laughs> what do people? Their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. Men are still out here building the modern world, but when they come home now, the girls like, oh, why should I cook for you? I mean, like, that is an interesting topic. But if I say anything about that. I'm going to get canceled, so I'm not going to say anything. Somewhere on this planet, there is someone who is your age, may look a bit like you. Okay, why is there some dude playing GTA 5 in the clip below? Like, why is that even happening? I don't care about Andrew Tate saying right here. I just care about the dude that's playing GTA 5. Who was just given some bad... Either they were just given a cancer diagnosis and given two weeks to live, or the police just knocked on the door and said, your family's... Yeah, a, a cement truck ran them all over. They're splattered all over the road. My family? Yeah, all of them. I guarantee a bomb in Syria or a chemical attack in Yemen. There's someone your age who just got given some bad... And if you were to sit there and explain to them your problems, they would swap lives with you in a heartbeat. Okay, in this clip again, he's spitting facts. And you know, I, I've watched some Andrew Tate clips, and this is what I basically figured out. Some videos, he spits straight facts. Other videos, he's like, real w weird. And then in third videos, he's like, asking to be canceled. Like, those are the three types of videos. Like, the only three types of videos, like, of Andrew Tate ever. You're not grateful for what you have, because you don't understand and don't anticipate that there's someone out there who would do anything to have what you have. I'm not even talking about me with my Lambo and my beautiful women 
normal, safe life where you can watch Tate Speech YouTube videos and no one's going to bomb your house. There are people who would do anything to trade with you. And if you were to sit there and try and explain to them all your problems, yeah, but you don't want to, I'm depressed and, it's, and, it's, and I have no girlfriend and it's hard to make money and, and my life's hard. And you were to tell them all your stupid reasons that you don't like your life. They'd sit there and listen to them all and go, okay, yeah, no problem, let's swap. And they'd sign on the dotted line. Uh, okay, that, that is a really rare video of Andrew Tate spitting facts. Really rare. I think it's really rare. Some child is outside enjoying their life, playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. Anyway. Okay, I don't even know what to say about that. It's <laughs> just funny. I got a message on Instagram and it was from a young 17 year old and he said, I'll do anything. I want to be mafia like you. Can we work together? And I sat there and I said to Tristan, why does everyone think we're mafia? We're not mafia. Like, we don't run around with machine guns. I mean, obviously, we have guns. Our house is full of machetes. Are we mafia? <laughs> imagine saying that. Just imagine. That. Anyway, I don't, think, I don't think I'm mafia. So I said to Tristan, look, we're not mafia. Tristan goes, yes, we are. And I said, why? He goes, we're two huge fighting brothers. And if anyone did piss us off at any point, even if we didn't... We can make one phone call, and they'd either be in a ditch or lose their any right to stay here, they'd have some visa issue and be kicked out of the country, or arrested for no reason and put in a jail cell for months at a time. We are basically as mafia as you can get. So I guess I'm mafia, I didn't mean to be. So I was sitting there going, well, I never intended on being an organized criminal. How do you end up being mafia? And I've concluded that if you are competent in every single sphere, you're gonna be viewed as mafia. If you're a big, strong, smart, rich guy who's super well connected, how can you not be mafia? How can you not be when everyone wants to know you? Okay. The first oh. member of color in this family. We all knew it was coming. It's to get out of jail free card of the modern world. Megan, you're lighter than me. Look at her face. She's white. She's basically white. Megan, no one looks at you and thinks black girl. Nobody. Don't try the black person card. If you're black and you're watching this, you should be very offended that this light skin woman is going to try and play the black card. I'm a How out of context is it? eyes because I am a Negro. Look at your straight hair. You ain't black. Stop saying it. You're a liar. And now she's adding race because what happened is Oprah was. Okay, I just need to know how out of context this is. Well, what the hell is this? The guy who believes us. Australia is not a real place. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? I hope Okay, I'm not gonna watch this video, but like, what the hell is it? Okay, I gotta react to that next video. I gotta do that. Okay, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna actually like, watch more clips, but you know, I, I gotta do that, so. Next video, it's that one. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, I'm Shree.